Hi, this video is a tutorial on how to record multiple windows of a lecture at the same time using Zoom conference call. If we're using PowerPoint, which most people do, you can record your PowerPoint lecture very easily by just clicking record slideshow and adding audio content to each slide and saving the timings. Super easy. If I want to show multiple windows at a time, for instance, maybe I want to show my PowerPoint window plus a PDF plus an internet uh, browser window, I prefer to use a screenshot capture video software. Um, on my Mac, I like to use Mac Screenshot. But if I actually want to show my face in the recording, then using something like Zoom is actually more helpful. There's a few things to keep in mind for However, the first is that on your PowerPoint, you need to go to set up slideshow and make sure that this option, browse by an individual window, is selected. That way the presentation plays in its own separate window instead of taking up your full screen. So let's open up Zoom. Here it is for me. I'm going to create a new meeting. I'm not actually going to conference with anybody. Uh, here you can see my video playing while I'm recording a video. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm actually going to exit full screen mode. And um, we're first going to talk about the different windows to choose. So I'm going to click on share. And what you see here is that I have uh, four windows of interest that are open. The first is the desktop, which shows all the windows at the same time, and I re can record all those windows. I have my PowerPoint window open, I have my PDF window open, and I have a browser open. This happens to be Safari. So let's share the desktop and see what that looks like. So as you can see here, I am now a window within a window, within a recording of a recording. And uh, here's my mugshot. Uh, I'm in share mode, so whatever uh, window that I pop up is going to show up on this particular recording. So how do I actually do the recording part? So let's uh, show the PowerPoint window again. I'm going to uh, go back up here to the menu on Zoom, and I'm going to click on More. And here, um, I want to click on Record on this computer. Uh, some institutions have the capability to record into the cloud, but in this case I don't have that. Um, when I click record on this computer, what it does is now it's going to record my screen, which hopefully you can see a green border around my window. It's going to record that screen, and it will save the file as um, a video file on your computer, uh, typically in a folder called Zoom. Uh, and then from there, you can take your file and post it to your favorite LMS. In my case, we use Blackboard. So I'm going to click on Record on this computer. And now, as you can see, the Recording button is recording. So I'm recording within a recording of a recording. Uh, so right now, I'm in my lecture. I can go into PowerPoint. I can go into Presenter mode. Notice that I'm in a separate window. As I click through my windows, I can narrate what I want to talk about. Uh, I can annotate my windows. I can skip to different slides because again I'm working within a separate window. So for instance if I'm here and I want to restart my slideshow um, I can point to things. I can go off to my PDF. I can refer to my video. Now I'm playing a video within a video within a video. and so forth and so on. And then once I'm done, all I have to do is click on uh, More, and I can click on Stop Recording. The advantage of Zoom is I can actually pause my recording so that I don't have to do a lot of editing of splicing in the end. So I'm going to stop the recording here. And at this point, Zoom is still running. So in order to save the file, I actually have to click out of Zoom and exit the program. So I'm going to stop the share. And there I am right now. I'm going to uh, end my meeting, which is down here in the corner. Zoom will end, and as you can see, it's going to do some file converting. 
so that uh, the video is viewable uh, later on. So we'll just wait a second for that. And as you can see, at least on my Mac, it automatically opens where my video is going to be located. So for me, that happens to be here. And the Zoom playback that I want is this Zoom uh, underscore zero as it's named here. I can rename it anything I want, but it's an MP4. The other thing that Zoom does as an option is it can record just the audio uh, for you uh, or as a music file that someone can download to as a, say, as a, as a podcast. So each one of these three files can be very useful for you. Okay, I hope you have fun recording your lectures, and I think that's it for now.